welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And maybe you're wondering, why is he hoovering over all these city of brasses? Well, you can see my play sets. And there's probably something that you're noticing right now. And that is that my Chronicles play set is not complete. And the last one, number four, should be in one of these two packages sent to me by my friend to Crouton Man should be in one of these two. And the funny thing is, um, guess what place that I got first? It's actually um, the oldest, the original, I guess you say the OG, right? The OG uh, from Arabian Nights. It's just such a beautiful card. So it's a land, right? It comes into play. You can tap it to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. And then you take one damage for that. Now, as you can see, this is my the one in the best condition. And I was just fortunate enough to get these a while back. This is Mark Tedden's signature. This is Richard Garfield's signature. And then I've got like two completely beat up copies. Look at that. Look at that. Let me take it out and I can show you. Look at that. But I'm not complaining. Absolutely not. I'm so happy that I got these, I think, five, six years ago. Really, really happy with these. Um... Yeah, they're in a bad condition, but you know what? They're Arabian Nights. They're original, and I love playing with them when I'm going, you know, when I when I want to build certain decks that are just completely like old cards, don't go past unlimited. I love to use these, but I'm also a big fan of wide border decks. I'm a big fan of reprint decks. So I thought, you know, maybe it's time to just finish the City of Brasses here. And as you can see, I've got three. So I want to get the last one. It's in one of these envelopes. Um, and also this one, look at this. I kind of like it. I like the gold border. And just in case you don't know, gold border means they were um, printed in these world championship decks. So this is actually the background of the card, right? So in most formats, um, yeah, this card will not be allowed. But more and more formats are kind of being lenient and saying, you know what? Put it in there. It's the original art. It's all good. And I actually like the gold boarded frame. I think it's um, it's nice to kind of diversify, you know, from time to time. You can use the OG, you can use gold bordered, and you can use white bordered. So with City of Brass, you've got all the choices, right? I, I kind of like that. Um, you know what? We're talking so much about City of Brass. I'm just going to open it up first. So this is from Crouton Man. He lives in the United Kingdom. My friend, the island. And uh, yeah, very happy that it arrived. And I got it from him through Cart Market. He's now on Cart Market, which is kind of nice. And uh, okay, let me just check. There we go. Now it opens up. It's really well packed. And uh, I need scissors, people. Okay, there it is. I can find them. Very well packed, Joe. I appreciate that. These things from Chronicles are now also expensive. They used to be really, really cheap from Chronicles, but that change that's already different for a long while now. The new reality where even Chronicles have value. But I do understand why, because it's a beautiful card when you have the original art. It's something really nice to have. And I think it's a nice budget option. Let's go. We gotta get rid of this tape. Oops, sorry, you're only seeing my hands right now. <laughs> and ooh, we got Joe here. Joe AK Crouton Man. Pleasure doing business with you. Of course, Joe, always man. Pleasure of doing business with you as well, because you got me this card for a very decent price. And he's on uh Magic Card Market, so. Might be worth checking it out. Um, bam, there we go. A Plate City of Brass. That's how I like him. Plate City. Really nice. Really nice. Very, very cool card. Let's leave it up in yellow, right? Like the other ones. It's always a good feeling to complete your playset. Let me know in the comments below what's the last playset you've completed. For me, obviously, it's City of Brass. <laughs> Wow, this feels really good. I am really, really happy. I now have 
all the all three play sets complete. I guess I guess I need a four and bordered one play set. Come on, zoom in here, please. But yeah, man, I think I think it's not gonna happen, at least not now. Talking about foreign cards, I got mail from let's check out the stamp. Ooh, Napoli. That is sweet. I've I've been to Napoli. Beautiful city, very lively, good food. Yeah, pretty cool football team as well. And there we go. If you play old school magic in Napoli, uh, let me know because the next time I'm there, I would love to come over and play a couple of games. So let's see, we gotta open this up. There we go. Ooh, this looks interesting. So it's not worth a top loader. That kind of gives some information. And, um, ooh, is this on an actual card? Yeah, this is an <laughs> actual card. I hope it's not what I ordered. I assume it's just there to protect the, the order. So let's see if I can, you know, in a way. Oh, there we go. You probably saw that already, right? Yeah, there's no need. I'll, I'll show it to you in a moment, a little bit further. But look at this, <laughs> dangled. What is this? A basil throw. Oh, no, man. That's sweet. Don't do that to the basil throw. Look at that art. Is this uh, Richard Kane Ferguson? Kind of looks like it, the colors. I'm a big fan of Fallen Empire. Like, also, look at these. Are these, like, guys at the back, like, other throws? Or what's going on there? It looks like it. Right? So you see the basil thrall here kind of making a sacrifice in the back. You see two other figures. I've never noticed that. Summon thrall, tap, sacrifice to add two. Yeah, of course, Richard Kane Ferguson. You can really recognize his style and his color palette. I love it. Always how he plays with the light in his work. It's like, yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm going to try to actually, I'm not going to do it now. But you know, okay, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to try to get this off. Very patiently. Oh man. This, oh man, this feels bad. Please, next time use one of those new magic cards, you know, with all those, I don't know. I don't know what the sets are called, but like a set that came after Ice Age or something. I don't care, but not, not, not the, not, you know, not Fallen Empires, not Homelands, not anything older than that. No, please don't. Oh. oh, okay, okay, okay. I actually think it came off pretty nice. Wow. Oh, there goes the camera. This this basil throw is in pretty good condition, actually, which is a surprise. Okay, but I'm, I'm getting sidetracked because what I originally ordered is a playset of Italian, or is it German? No, it's Italian, of Italian lightning bolts. Black border, really happy to own a playset. And I was thinking about using them in my um, Flying Elemental deck, but I've kind of changed my mind because I think they're just, it's such a staple that it's kind of boring. So I'm not gonna play it in there, but maybe I'm gonna play it in my Cobaldi deck because I've, I've got all the Cobalts in Italian and they're called Cobaldi. So maybe I'll play it in my Cobaldi deck. I'm not sure. I mean, it's a great card. And um, this was a pretty good deal, just getting the full playset. So anyway, this was uh, my mail day for this week. Uh, thank you for tuning in, for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. If you want to support the channel, man, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what was the last playset that you completed. I'm curious. Would love to hear from you. And um, yeah, if you want to support the channel, by the way, what you can also do is become a subscriber if you're not a sub yet. And you can also support the channel financially. Ooh, that sounds so interesting. How can you do that? Well, you can do that by visiting our Patreon page. There's probably a link popping up right now. Click on that info card. That will take you to Timmy Talks Patreon. And then you can check out how you can support the good cause. And it already starts with $1 a month. And the cool thing is, you can join the Timmy Talks Discord. You can join the Timmy Talks tournaments. Um, I'm also going to send you a little welcoming package. And last but not least, your name will appear 
in the end scroll after each and every video, including this one talking about that. Let's go to the end scroll and let's take a look of, at the amazing, fantastic, super cool, wonderful channel members and patrons. Ik het als fikker te somber gezien.